blessed morning everyone who are with us online for the live mass. In this Eucharistic celebration, let us include the following. Prayer intention of our online live mass benefactors. Emma Austero and family, Anthony and Mrs. June Yeo, Engineer Bernie Bonaventura and family, Mr. and Mrs. Sandro and Kate Sepp and children, Mr. and Mrs. Rosme Estero and children, Mrs. Maria Carolina Vergara, Mrs. Carolina Tianes, Miss Nancy Marquez, Elaine of Fatima Cabalina, Edlyn Talosi and Armando Rosme. For strength and protection of all our frontliners, for good health of all our viewers, for safety of all who are traveling by air and land, for healing and fast recovery of all who are sick, both in the hospital and at home, for safety and perseverance of employees of ABS-CBN, for endurance, guidance, perseverance and protection of Andy Carl Sepe, Demi Austero and John Mark Ventura on their respective military training. Thanks giving intention for all who are celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries. For the souls of Anita, Arcelia, Joseph, Cyrilla, Junicio, Norma Fe, Joby, Florinda, Dolores, Cipriana, Corazon, Jonas, Gregoria, Alice, Gregorio, Sita, Malu, and Encarnacion. For the souls of Anita, Ruben, Jose, Dalmasha, Felix, Alex, Alan, Wilfredo, Lydia, and Rodelio. For the souls of Natividad, Rosilier, Alex, Lolita, and Bernardo. Thanksgiving Mass for all the blessings and good hope received offered by Mr. and Mrs. Janet Dillon. For the souls of Felizardo del Rosario, offered by Janet Dillon. For the soul of Lydia Pobaliser Tianes, on her death anniversary today, offered by Rowena Oliverio and siblings. Thanksgiving for the gift of marriage of Mr. Danny and Rowena Oliverio, as they celebrate their 30th wedding anniversary. Thanksgiving Mass to God the Father and all the departed fathers in heaven, especially to Papa Antonio Sr. Thanksgiving Mass for the protection and blessings received by June Estero and family. For the fast recovery of Elisa de la Cruz. intention for the souls of Vicente, Jose, Vicente, Edita Jimenez, Celestina, Luis Jimenez, offered by the family. Mass intention for the souls of Segundino, Natividad, Mariano, and all the souls in purgatory offered by the family. Thanksgiving Mass for the many graces and blessings we received and for the protection of the COVID-19 offered by Pasita, Ramolano, and family. Mass intention for the speed recovery of Daisy Herrera offered by Herrera family and Ramolano family. Thanksgiving Mass for the gift of life of Jerian Babayos on her 11th birthday offered by Papa and Mama. For the souls of Florentina, Raimundo, Doroteo, Felix, and Emilia. For the souls of Cesar, Julius Cesar, Ponciano, Leona, Alberto, Rogelio, and all the souls in Purgatory, offered by Martina and Rites. Thanksgiving Mass for the blessings and good hope received, offered by Martina and Rites. Thanksgiving Mass for the 35 years wedding anniversary of Mr. and Mrs. Nicomedas and 
Iluminada Estabas, offered by Nicomedas and Iluminada Estabas, for the souls of Norberto Sr., Norberto Jr., Roger, Edwin, Pedro, Exaltacion, Magdalena, Teofilo, Lucila, offered by Nicomedas and Iluminada Estabas. for the miraculous healing of Moises Alexander offered by Alex Flora and family for fast recovery of Carol, Lorraine, Evelyn, Sandro, Joanna, and Gay Gay for guidance and protection of teachers, administrators, and staff of the Pablo Lorenzo Memorial High School, Junior High School for healing and recovery of Beverly Ratilla for fast recovery of Bernadette Natilia, for protection of Tintin, Diane, Jericho, Romeo, and Francis, for healing of Sir Sandro Sepe, for the soul of Norma Fejerera, offered by Ministry on Lectory. years old of San Roque, son of Ricky Elna and Herminda Saavedra, wishes to contact holy matrimony with Miss Mary Lorraine Telmo, 30 years old, of Tumaga, daughter of Orlando Telmo and Lucinia de los Reyes. Their marriage will be on July 2020 at St. Joseph's House of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Nunez Street, Zamboanga City. Is there any impediment regarding their marriage? Please report to the parish priest or to the parish office. Thank you. Sunday in ordinary time. Dear brothers and sisters, by his passion, death, and resurrection, the Lord Jesus has overcome the power of sin and death. In the Eucharist, he has left us a living memorial of his saving mystery. He has sent the Holy Spirit to be with us always. Indeed, the Lord strengthened his disciples for the task of spreading the gospel because it is not without problems and difficulties. This too is the experience of Jeremiah, beset by terror and persecution, the prophet entrusts his cause to the Lord, who rescues the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. Let us begin the celebration. Our presider is Reverend Father Serge de la Noche. <laughs> And of the Father, and of the Father. 
of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Word. Faced with eternal crisis and external danger, Jeremiah nearly despairs in his calling as a prophet, but in faith he hangs on the promises of the Lord who in turn ultimately vindicates the prophet, the first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whispering of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends, are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor 
from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those whose blasphemy you fall upon me. is your kindness and your great mercy turned toward Through one man, sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus death came to all men, as much as all sinned. For up to the time of, of the law, sin was in the world. Though sin is not accounted when there is no law, but death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin. After the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is a type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression. For if by the transgression of the one, the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise as we honor the Holy Gospel. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one, 
Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor a secret that will not be known. When I say to you, what I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On my uh, Facebook page, I posted a picture of a father wading through shark-infested waters and carrying his child over his shoulders. That's, uh, that's uh, what they say, a picture speaks a thousand words. This is a father who takes responsibility over his child and is willing to face any danger, to face any danger for the sake of his child. And so for those, for those kind of fathers, we say, Happy Father's Day. We have stories, individual stories about our fathers, and we can relate to the picture. At one point or another, our father has taken the blunt of the danger and the evil forces for our sake. And that will be our fondest and the best memories that we will have about our own fathers. I also said in the caption over my picture that if a human father is responsible for his children, then what more can we say about our Heavenly Father? So I think this is also the day that we should greet our Almighty Father, Happy Father's Day. Because our human fathers only participate in the, father of, in the fatherhood of God, who is the Creator and the Father of the whole universe. Father, a father is actually a transition from a husband. A child transitions a husband to a father. No, when there is no child, that the, the man only becomes a husband, a loving husband to a wife. No, but when there is a child, that changes him. No, that changes him. No? We can see man, uh, we can see men. Or maybe telling their friends, well, I, could not, I cannot do that anymore because I now have a child. I have to provide for my child. You see, our Heavenly Father is like this too. This Heavenly Father has sent His Son and in fact has done more for us by offering His only begotten Son for our salvation. And when that Son, Jesus, was with us, He said His words, Do not fear. Fear no one. You should fear God alone. You should fear the one who can both, who can kill both the body and the soul. In this world, there are many persons who are trying to replace Almighty, the Almighty Father. They are trying to tell us that we should not fear God, that we should do what we want, that we have the freedom. We have all the freedom to do what we want in this world. And so this chaos, this chaos are happening. We have this unity. We have racism affecting many parts of America. And this is also creeping through Europe. We have to look back at what Jesus is telling us to look within us 
and to appreciate our universal brotherhood, we have to appreciate and to look back into our divine sonship. We are sons, we are brothers and sisters, because we only have one Father, and that is our Almighty Father in Heaven. And this Almighty Father provides for us spiritually and materially. If we listen to His words, then we can be led to our heavenly homeland. If we listen to God, then we will also protect ourselves from spiritual threats. If we obey God and His commandments, then we can also be assured of His material providence. The Heavenly Father has given us this assurance in our gospel today. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one, yet not one of them falls to the ground without your Father's knowledge. If our Heavenly Father can take care of the birds, He can surely take good care of us. His priceless possession. The, mag the, mag the majestic work of art in His creation, human beings. This day may lead us, may it also, may this day lead us to appreciate the Father, the Fatherhood of God who is in heaven, who looks after us, who watches over us, in these times of pandemic, we should not doubt about His providence, about His protection, and about His care. Please all stand. I believe in one God. In the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten at me, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for His men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In Jesus Christ, we are reconciled with the Father and made His adopted children. Confident of the Father's love, let us raise our petitions for the needs of the Church, our nation, and the whole world as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, the people of God, may she persevere in proclaiming the Gospel and lead men and women to Christ, the true light that enlightens every human being, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, the bishops, priests, deacons, and all the baptized, may they witness to the saving power of the Gospel, even amid opposition, unbelief, and lukewarmness. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For government and civil leaders, may they help safeguard human dignity, promote peace among people, and attend to the needs of the poor, the weak, and the voiceless in society. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For the families of our nation and of the whole world, may the Lord inspire every family to embody the goodness of Jesus. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For our sick brothers and sisters, and all those who have gone ahead of us, may the Lord bring them the comfort they need and show them the hope of eternal life. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, hear the prayers of your people. Heal the wounds of sin that divide and confuse us. Strengthen us with the power of your Spirit and help us in our journey back to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just of our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of born of beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy of the mortality itself. That the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation. Through Christ, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. (laughs) 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope. Romulo and Moises, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with San Roque, San Padre Pio, San Pedro Galonso, Saint Michael the Archangel, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Thank you. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Spray, renewed and cherished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata, prayer against COVID 19. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask for protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. 
We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Heart of the Sick, Saint Raphael the Archangel, Senor San Roque, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Saint Pedro Calonso. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to God and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the rock and may the God of us.